Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Total Body Toning. Total Body Toning, we do a series of three exercises standing. We take a halfway break, and then we do three ground exercises. So we're going to do those three standing exercises first, and we're going to do three rounds of them. So first, what we're going to do is just a set of squats. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate it with you. I'm not going to be able to do it with you, but uh, I'll talk you through it. If you want, you can hold the weight. You don't have to. We're going to do a squat hold. So do a squat hold. You take a wide stance. You keep your eyes up. If you are going to hold the weight, you need to keep it really close to your body. I don't want when you squat to extend it out. You're going to keep it close. But all you're going to do is you're going to squat down as far as you're comfortable. We're going to hold it for five seconds, and then we're going to stand up. We're just going to do that on repeat. So you can hold the weight. You don't have to hold the weight, and I'll count you down through it. So get a good wide stance. Eyes are always up. You want to keep the knees back. So you got to push your butt back, lean your upper body forward, and we'll go down. All right, here we go. Let's go down. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll stand all the way up. Back down. Squat. Hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come back up. Coming back down, hold it. Make sure your eyes are up. You want your knees to not go forward. So you gotta really lean forward so you don't feel like you're gonna fall backwards. Good, come up. Back again. Squat, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, coming up. Same thing, squat. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, coming up. And we're gonna do one more. Squat, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, and we'll stand. Okay, that'll be our first exercise. Next exercise, you can grab a weight. I would say five pounds-ish. You can go a little heavier if you feel like it. You can go lighter if you want to. We're gonna do some core exercises. So, you're gonna hold on to the ends. Stand up tall. We're gonna go three angles. First angle is you don't lean back when you do this. Just stand up tall. You lift to a side. So you're going to notice like my shoulders, my eyes are going to face forward, but my arms are just going to go off to an angle. We bring it down. We come to the front. Shoulder height only. Bring it down. And then we go off to the other side. I'm not turning my body to do it. I'm keeping everything forward. All right. So grab on the ends of a weight. Tighten your core. You have to do that so we don't hurt your lower back. We're going to do some abs on this. So lift up to an angle slowly. Stop at shoulder height. Bring it back down. Come up to the middle, tight core, keep your abs tight, don't lean back, back down to the middle, off to the right, slowly, shoulder height, back down, okay, back to the middle, slowly, to shoulder height, back down, off to the other side, back down, I want you guys to keep going, just follow that rhythm, slowly up to shoulder height, off to an angle. Doing good. Make sure you engage your core. I don't want you to feel like you're going to lean back. I don't want you to feel like your back is holding up your weight from going forward. I want you to use your abs. That's what's going to keep you standing up nice and tall. Let's go two more. Good. And when you're done your two, you can take a pause. Last, last one in this series, this is the third exercise. Grab a matching set of weight. Uh, there's two parts to this exercise. If you have a shoulder injury, you're gonna skip the second part. What we're gonna do is I would say maybe five pounds-ish. I might go too much heavier because we're gonna do a shoulder press. It's a curl and press. So elbows are to your sides. You're gonna curl up to your shoulders from here. Press up in the air. Bring the weight back down to your shoulders and then we curl down. If you have a shoulder injury, you're gonna just curl up and down like this. You're gonna skip the overhead press part. I don't want you to do that. Also, when you press overhead, don't lean back. Stand up tall, use your core again, all right? So, grab your set of weights. Give yourself a good base. And here we go, we're gonna curl. Tighten your abs, press to the ceiling. Unless you got a shoulder problem, skip this part and bring it back down. Curl back up to the shoulders, press up. Back down, using your core, good posture, eyes up. Here, back down, keep going, keep your rhythm. Yep, try not to press in front of you also, you wanna press up. 
You go in front, we're gonna get potentially some shoulder problems. Tight core, don't forget about that. Curling, tight core, pressing. Looking good. We're gonna do two more of them. One with a curl and a press, and then a second one with a curl and a press. All right, we'll take a pause. All right, let's go through that series again. So you don't need a weight if you're gonna do squats with no weight. If you're gonna use a weight, hold it close to your body. You're gonna hold it at chest height. This is gonna be where we do a squat. We hold it and then we come back up. So it's that first exercise we did. You grab a weight, tight to your body. Let's take a wide stance and here we go. Squat, hold it, five, four, three, two, one, come up. Back down, hold it. Five, watch your knees. You don't want your knees forward. You want them to stay back. Good, come up. Squat again, eyes up, knees back, hold it. Three, two, one, coming up. Squatting again, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Again, hold it, come down, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, we're back up. And we got one more, squat, hold it, eyes up, knees back. Two, one, good, stand up tall. Grab just one weight, this is gonna be our angled core extension. So you gotta tighten your core, we go straight arms to a side, straight arms to a middle, straight arms to the other side. And then we just kind of keep going back those three angles, okay? So again, give yourself a good base. That way you don't feel like you're gonna rock back or anything. Eyes up. And here we go, pick an angle, bring it down, come to the middle, nice straight arms. Down in the middle, nice and slow too. We don't want to do this quick. We do this quick, we lose the core part of it. We want the core to have to hold us up so it doesn't feel like it's gonna pull us forward. Keep your rhythm. Yeah. Make sure you're facing forward. I don't want you twisting your body and then lifting. That can really bother your lower back. You're not gonna twist your back. You're just gonna stand up tall, use your abs. Good, keep it slow. Yep, it should be a slow raise. We've got 10 seconds, let me do two more. Good, all right, let's grab a matching weight. We're gonna do our curl and our press, unless you have a shoulder injury. You never wanna press overhead if you have a shoulder injury, so don't even force it. Just stick with the hammer curls, which is just this. All right, so if you have a shoulder problem, you're just gonna do some of these. If you're all set, you're gonna keep a tight core, you're gonna curl up, then you're gonna press up, and then bring them to the shoulders and curl down, all right? Let's go with five, four, give yourself a wide stance, two, one, here we go, curl, tight core, press up, back to the shoulders, and down. You gotta notice I'm going very vertically with my weights, I'm not gonna go up in front of my body. It's not gonna be up here. You're gonna go up, and bring them down. Ground up, tight core, don't lean back. You're gonna notice I'm not leaning back also. Posture's up, eyes are up. Good, keep your rhythm, keep going. Good. Don't forget about your core, it's gonna be the most important part of this whole exercise. Why don't we do two more? A curl and a press, bring it down and then a curl and a press. And then we'll bring it down. All right, awesome. No weights if you're gonna do squats. This is gonna be our third round through and our last round, then we'll take a break. If you're gonna do a squats with a weight, you can hold the weight at chest height. If you're not, don't worry about it. Nice wide stance. Eyes are up. My weight's in my heels. If my weights are in my toes, it means my knees are coming forward. You get a lot of pressure on your knees, so you wanna really sit in your heels, lean forward. All right, so let's do our hold. Here we go, squat, come down, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, and we'll come up. Coming back down, hold it. Five, four, 
three, two, one. Good, coming back up. Back down again. Squat, hold it, keep that weight close if you're using the weight. Good, coming up. Back down again, eyes staying up, nice flat back. Good, coming up. Back down again, we're doing a minute long set of these. Hold it, three, two, one. Good, coming back up. Get two more to go, squat again, hold it, five. Four, three, two, one, coming up. Last one, squat, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one, good, and we'll stand up. All right, number two is going to be that core exercise where we did, where we hang on to the ends. Do not twist and then lift. That's not gonna, your back is not gonna like that, your disc isn't gonna like that, but we can keep everything facing forward and lift to an angle and then back down, okay? So, let's do the same thing. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, off to an angle. Bring it down, keep your core tight. Up to the middle, shoulder height only. Back down slowly, and then off to the other angle. Back down slowly. Keep that rhythm, just go left, middle, right, okay? Keep your core tight. That's the only thing I really want you to focus on. You're gonna eyes up, good tight core, and just lift at that angle. Doing good, make sure you're not twisting. Shoulders are facing your computer, facing the camera. Don't twist your shoulders, don't turn them side to side. If you have a hard time with it, don't lift so much to an angle, just come slightly to the side. We got seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, take a pause. We have our last one, then we'll take our first break. This is going to be curl and press. So, elbows to your side, curl up, press up, and then bring them back down. Again, skip the press part if you have a shoulder problem. Let's get a good wide stance. Tight core again. Good posture, eyes up, here we go. Curl up, press it to the ceiling, straight up. Back down to the shoulders, curl it down. Curl it up, press it all the way up. Back down to the shoulders, and then curl down. Up to the shoulders, press it up. We're gonna back to the shoulders, and then curl them down. Yep, make it two very different movements. You got the curl up, and then you got the press up. Two very different, don't make them one big motion. Guys are looking good. I want you to do two more, a curl and a press, and a curl and a press. And when you're done, you two, take a break. We'll take a 45 second break or so, uh, grab a drink, Bring your weights down to the ground. We're gonna do the second half of class on the ground. All right, first one. You don't have to do it with me quite yet, but I'm gonna demonstrate what we're doing as you get a drink and make your way down. We're gonna do an overhead pullover today. This is a back exercise, a core exercise, and a chest exercise. So, weights go straight up. We click them together, so they're touching. Slowly up overhead with the weights. If you can go to the ground, that's okay. If you can't, don't force it. And then we pull back to the top, and then we just keep that rhythm slowly up overhead, and then back to the top. So make your way to the ground if you're not all the way down. We'll go in about 15 seconds. Grab your weights. You can grab your weights. You can lay in your back, have some bent knees. If you want, you can just rest your weights right on your torso for the meantime while we wait for everyone to get set up. We got five seconds and then we'll get going. Lie on your back, bend knees. Straight up in the air with the weights. We're gonna click the weights together, keep them touching each other so we can help protect your shoulders. And here we go, tight core. Go up overhead slowly. Go with only what you feel comfortable with. Don't go all the way to the ground if your shoulders don't agree with it. Keep the pace slow. Very important we do this one slowly, otherwise we can bother your shoulders with that. Good. 
We're going to do a nice minute one set of these. Nice, safe exercise. Very good for the core, good for the back. You got three to go. Last one, slowly up overhead. Good, always bring the weights down into your body and then place them to the side. That helps make sure we keep our shoulders nice and safe. Next exercise, we have three ground exercises. That's gonna be our first one. The next one, we're gonna do a single leg bridge today. So, we're gonna take your right foot, I want you to put your heel on the ground so your toe points up. We're gonna take our left leg, cross it over the right one. So now I'm on the heel, toe points up, and my left is crossed over my right. From here, you can do whatever you want with your hands. You can go wide, you can keep them in, doesn't matter. Press through that heel, you're gonna lift your hips up to the ceiling and then bring them all the way back down. Okay, so it looks like this. If that's too much, you can always just do a regular bridge with both legs, okay? But we're going five seconds, cross your left over your right, heels on the ground, so the toe points up. Here we go, lift up, nice and slow, as high as you can, bring the hips to the ground, right back up, drive the hips to the ceiling, back down, nice and slow. We're gonna do 30 seconds each leg. You do two more of them. Good, pause right there, change legs. So bring the other leg down, yep, cross the other one over. The foot on the ground, you're gonna point the toe up. So you're on the heel. And here we go, other leg, push up, off the heel, drive as high as you can. Good, push through that heel. Yeah, you can drive your hips as high as you can to the ceiling. Try to get them up as high as you can. Let's go two more. Good, and when you're done those, we're gonna take your leg down. We're gonna do the third exercise. We're gonna go with a good old trusty plank. So, if you're not familiar with the plank, you can watch me. There's two choices. I'm going to show you the modified version first. I want everyone to go off the forearms, not the wrist. The wrist is kind of a little aggressive on the hands and the wrist. So we're going to go on the elbows. Modified versions on the knees and elbows. More advanced version up on the toes and elbows. Okay? I think most of you have done a plank before. Let's go in about five seconds. Pick which one you want to do. Elbows are under your shoulders. And here we go, prop up, hold it. We're gonna do a 40 second hold. Keep your core tight. Yep, you're better off a little higher with the hips than a little lower. I don't want you to feel anything in your lower back. You shouldn't feel anything in your lower back. If you do, you might just be a little too low to the ground, bring your hips up a little bit higher. We're already past halfway. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come down easy on the knees. Good. All right, let's go to our backside again. We're going to run through that series again. Three exercises. The first one's our overhead pullover. So, overhead pullover. Put for pressure. You grab your weights, you have bent knees, we click the weights together. And we slowly go up overhead. Okay, so get your weights, bend your knees. Let's go straight up in the air with the weights, click them together. And here we go, slowly overhead. Keep a nice tight core, don't forget about the core. It's very important for this exercise as it is to go slowly. So tight core, slow overhead, and then pull back to the top. Keep a nice slow pace. We go quick. We can really put too much pressure on that shoulder. 
We're doing a minute long set of these. We're almost halfway through already. We're gonna go three more. Should take you about five seconds to do each one. Shouldn't be quick. If it's quicker than five seconds, you're going too fast. And we should be coming up to our last ones. Good, bring those weights in. Let's place those weights off to the side. We don't need them for the next one. All right, next exercise, we have our single leg glute brace. So it doesn't matter which leg you want to do. You're going to cross one leg over the other one. Foot on the ground, you're going to be on the heel so the toe points up. Then we drive off that heel, we lift those hips as high as we can to the ceiling, okay? Let's go in five, four, three. You always have a regular bridge if you want with both legs. And here we go, press off that heel, lift up, drive your hips high to the ceiling, come back down nice and slow. If you want it to be a little bit harder, you can always just stop before your hips hit the ground, so you always have that slight elevation. That just means your muscles don't have a chance to actually take a break even for one second. They're constantly working, so you can kind of fatigue it a little bit more. We're going to go two more of them. Good. When you've done that one, cross the other leg over. Foot on the ground, you're gonna point the toe up so you're on the heel. And here we go, 30 seconds this one. Same idea, push off that heel, drive your hips to the ceiling. You can do whatever you want with your hands. You can go wide, you can keep them in tight. If you're struggling to get any elevation with your hips, I would suggest putting your arms up to the side nice and wide. That can kind of give you a little bit of assistance. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. And come down easy with the hips. All right, let's turn it over so we're facing towards the ground. And we're going to do our plank. We'll go in about 10, 15 seconds. The plank, you have the modified version off the knees. A uh, more advanced version would be on the toes. I suggest everybody does it on the forearms and the elbows and not the wrists. That could just be a little aggressive on the wrists. I don't want to create any problems for anybody. So, let's go elbows down. Pick which one you're going to do in three, two, one. Here we go. Prop yourself up. Hold it. Try and breathe nice and smooth. Don't hold your breath. No pain in your lower back. If you got pain in your back, you might just be a little too low. Bring your hips up a little, a little higher. This one we're doing a 40 second set. We're already halfway there. If you can, flex your core tight, but maintain a smooth breathing pattern. Don't hold your breath to do it. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down easy on the knees, gentle on the body. Good. All right, let's go through that series one more time through. We have our third round through. All right, first one we're going to do, we're going to do our overhead pullover. So you grab your waist, lay in your back. We have bent knees. You're going to go straight in the air with the weights, click them together, and then we go up overhead. All right, let's go in about five, ten seconds. Get set up. And here we go, slowly overhead. Back to the top. Slowly overhead. Again, take about five seconds to do each one. Slow is not bad on this exercise. It's actually good. You got to use your core. Keep a nice stable torso. Doing good. We're already halfway through this series. Make sure the weights are touching each other. If you have them separated, that can kind of put a little too much instability in the shoulders. I want you to click the weights together. Make sure they're touching. Okay. 
We can do two more of them. And when you're done your two, you can just bring the weight into your body and then off to the sides. Try not to drop them off overhead or really wide at first. You gotta bring them into your body and then place them to the side. All right, let's do our single leg bridge. You can get rid of the weights. Our single leg bridge, we cross one leg over the other one. Foot on the ground, I want you to be on the heels so the toe points up. That just gets more glute involved, makes it a little bit more aggressive. And we're gonna push off that heel in three, two, one, go ahead. Hips up to the ceiling, all the way, drive them as high as you can. If you want it to be harder, don't let your hips touch the ground. You're gonna keep a little elevation at all times. It's a 30 second on each leg. Let's go one more. When you've done that one, take the leg, cross over the other one. Foot that's on the ground, I want you to point that toe up. And our other 30 seconds starts now. Go ahead, drive your hips up to the ceiling. Push right through that heel. You can put a lot of pressure through that heel. You do three more of them. When you're done your three, you can just take a pause. If you want to get started setting up for the plank, we're going to turn it over, face towards the ground. Nice job on the bridges. We'll go in about 15 seconds for our plank, and that'll be our last exercise for class today. So I suggest doing it on the elbows and the forearms. You can go off the knees or the toes, whichever you prefer. Off the knees will be modified. Let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Prop up, plank up, hold it. Make sure you got a nice tight core, good breathing. You're not, you're not dipping in the hips. We got to make sure we're at least flat or higher. Good, we're already halfway there. We do a 40 second set of these. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, you can come down nice and easy on your legs. All right, that's it for class. Uh, thank you for coming, everybody, and uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend.